Today we're talking about spin kicks and uh, came across, you know, I've seen a few videos online and everybody is amazed at when somebody in like an MMA ring pulls off a spinning hook kick. And uh, I think it is cool to pull it off in a fight, but I don't think it's that amazing because martial artists practice this kick all the time. So uh, what I'm saying is that I saw a couple cool videos, guys nailed it perfectly. And what we're going to talk about today is some of the ways to use the spinning kick to mask movement. First, the idea of spinning in general throws the opponent off because, well, when they spin, they're not quite sure what you're doing, so their brain goes into a defensive mode. The one uh, Muay Thai or MMA fight I saw, when they played it in slow motion, you can see as soon as the guy turned his hips, the other guy just set his hands in a position. And one of the things that we talk about when we use spin kicks is you literally can't cover your whole body at once. So the gentleman in the fight threw his hands and he, he worked on his mid to lower and guess what it left wide open? It left his jaw wide open. I don't remember what side he was on or whatever, but um, I believe it came to his left side of his jaw. So wherever he went, he only covered half of his body. So the spin kick can go high or low. We're gonna show you a couple ways. So G, come on over. Yep. All right, so first we're in this position here and uh, my back's gonna be to you for a little bit here. Um, whether we're sparring or moving, the simple setup is a simple turn of the foot. So if I was facing the camera here and we're moving and we're striking and we're, we're going here, it's literally I can mask it with a jab, I could be fighting here, and then suddenly I just set that foot. Now, uh, G, go to the camera, make sure you can see my base foot here, and just give me a thumbs up if you can. Yes. All right, so the base foot, we have two set positions, okay? We have what we call just what we call a closed stance. And then there's the set position, maybe if I was going off a jab or a hook, where I'm gonna literally over rotate the foot. So almost pointing the heel at the target. The kicks can be done from either one of these. It just depends on the setup of where you are prior to the kick. My opinion, I could pull off a much better spinning side kick if I have the over rotation of the hip, because I'm already in motion towards the kick. When I'm here and I'm half set, it just takes a little extra step for me to get to the spin kick. So either one of the setups is good for the spin hook kick. Uh, when you're practicing this, try both. Try it from just that side foot position and go from there. And then also try it from the turn and then spin from there. All right, G, come on back. Yep. All right, we're gonna have you on this side now. Now, here's the fun thing about a spin hook kick. I'm gonna hit him with a kick, okay? Ooh, all right, <laughs> so what I wanted you to see was his reaction, okay? It doesn't matter, like, I want you to block where you think I'm gonna kick. Okay, good. I'm trying to pull the kick so I don't really hit him. All right, so his hands first went up. Okay, now I want you to block where you think I'm gonna kick. Good. All right, now, here's the fun part. It, does, it doesn't matter where, okay? You saw that time, you played that back in slow motion. His hand was about right here. The top ha half of him was, was completely open. So this is the idea of a spin kick, is that wh whatever we're doing, boom, I'm striking, and then I have a set position, I have to be set. Then from here, I can fire in a straight line. Now this is the part I wanna talk a little bit about with how we throw these kicks. So let's say I, I'm in the position, I'm about to fire. There's two ways to throw a spin kick. One is starting out on this, this plane out here, where I can whip the leg through the head, or fire through the body. The second is when I drag the plane right alongside my body. So I either have the outward start or I have a very direct linear start. Okay, depending on what I'm trying to do, if I need to overpower the person, I might start more from the outside. Okay, so if I was with G here, and he's, he's I know his hands are up and hard, and I wanna, I wanna drill him right through there, right through his skull, I might start out wider and try to overpower those arms through to the head or possibly hook back around here to the back of the neck or the jaw, okay? Or I really wanna wind up that side kick and drill right through him and knock him back maybe to set up another move, okay? That's possible. Now, when I want to use the kick as a, a, a very sneaky method, I'm gonna slide that leg, I'm gonna slide that leg straight up and pass. So when he doesn't really see it, so you don't see it until the last second, okay? And the fun part is, 
when you do that with a hook, it is so direct that the mind doesn't actually see it coming. And the guy who threw the hook kick uh, in the one Muay Thai fight or whatever it was, he threw it in this particular fashion. He turned, he literally just turned, and his leg went straight up to the target, and at the last second it just snapped on the, on the jaw. 